Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. So I'm back with another review and today we're going to be reviewing this right here. Now these are heatless hair curlers I actually got on eBay, which is kind of like a dupe for curl formers. Now curl formers actually have been around for a really long time. There's actually a lot of videos online reviewing them, but they can actually be pretty costly. I think like a regular pack of curl formers is around $50. Um, these I want to say I got for around 20 uh, on eBay, but I did buy these like years ago. <laughs> I want to test this out because I have naturally wavy hair. Growing up, I had like a really like love-hate relationship with my hair. I did not know what to do with it. The only thing I was able to do with it was straighten it. Um, and you know, at that time, those really like those scrunchy curls were really in and I wanted so badly to have curly hair like all of the other girls. Um, and granted, they did have perms. So it's always kind of been like this almost like a fantasy of mine to have curly hair. And so I think this might be a product that might be able to give me that without having to spend hours curling my hair with a heated curling iron um, and like doing a lot of damage to my hair. So anyway, without talking too much, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this review. So these particular curls, I think the reason why there are pink ones and orange one is because they spiral in different directions. There's supposed to be 50 curlers in here and I'm really nervous about that because I'm not sure if that's really going to be able to cover my whole head. And then there's this stick also that actually um, came in two pieces but I snapped it together. So this pretty much is the stick that you're going to grab your hair and then pull it through these tubes with. And here's a look at what these curlers look like. So at each end there are these kind of like rubber openings and your hair is supposed to go in there with the help of the stick that was provided. So you're supposed to do this on damp hair. I let my hair dry a little bit because I figured if it was like soaking wet, these would stay in my hair for probably 24 hours. So I let my hair dry to about 80%. I also have a um, water bottle with me in case my hair gets too dry. I don't know if I should do like, you know, one side orange, one side pink, and so it, my hair kind of just curls away from my face, or if I should just do like alternating on each side. I think maybe alternating, but I do wanna start with, you know, the front pieces of hair here. I do want to have them going away from my face. So I think the first thing you do is try to stick this like wand into the curlers. Now these curlers um, are 50 centimeters, so they're the long type. They have them um, shorter also but I got the the longest one that I could find. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this piece of hair right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and brush that through real quick so I can reduce any tangles. And then I think I saw in one of the videos, you twist your hair and then use your hook to put your hair in. I'm so nervous. And then you're supposed to just pull the hair through. It's not, <laughs> it's getting stuck really badly. Okay, okay, this is scary. I don't know if I should maybe start a little bit lower. I feel like, I mean, that's halfway down my hair. It's like getting stuck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so that came off. <laughs> This is a lot harder than it looks. I feel like if I do any smaller of sections, I, I'm definitely going to run out of rollers. Okay, now I kind of, now I did it way too low. <laughs> this is gonna take me all day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so one down, a bunch to go. Now I'm gonna do <laughs> this piece with the pink. So here we go. Okay, number two, done. Ugh. Okay, now that's stuck in there. It just keeps breaking on me, it keeps coming apart. Oh, I think it's Again, there's like a crack in it. It still kind of works. Let's just, let's just 
try it. Let's just keep going. Ow. Okay, wait. Wait, wait. There it goes. Okay. Yay! Those four rollers took about 20 minutes to put in. <laughs> This is how many curlers I have left. So I honestly am not too worried about running out at this point. Um, just because I've already done like half my hair. Now that I'm not too worried about running out of curlers, I can get smaller sections um, and not be concerned about it. So I feel a little bit better. It's going by a lot faster now that the sections are super small. So for sure, the smaller the sections are that you put through, be easier. <laughs> okay, so last piece here. It's gonna be a pink one. Done! <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks so funny. I'm going to leave them in for a few hours and then take them out to see how they look. I want these to have at least like three hours dry because I don't wanna take them out too soon um, and then it be damp and doesn't really keep the curl. So out of 50 curlers, I have eight left, four of each color. I lost a lot of hair during this process, which, rest in peace hair, please come back. <laughs> okay, so it's been about two and a half, three hours um, since I put all these in my hair. Um, I'm not sure if they're fully dried yet, but um, the weather here is kind of getting stormy and it's like really dark overcast and I didn't want to wait any longer to take these out in case I ran out of daylight. So um, I figured I would just go ahead and take them out. I'm pretty sure they're dry though. So I actually did a little bit more research when I had these in and it seems like if you don't want your hair like super curly, like you want more like of a soft wavy look, then you don't want your hair like wet at all or like just very slightly um, damp. But if you want it like, you know, really, really curly, then you want your hair more on the damp side. I'm like squeezing the rubber thing at the top here to kind of like loosen it up and see if I can just pull it out without it like hurting too much. Okay. It's like super spirally, um, but it's a little bit like frizzy. They're pretty, they're like very tight spirals. It's actually a lot harder to pull out than I thought. I wonder if like straightening this out, okay, it helps if you straighten this out a little bit instead of just trying to pull it straight off. I honestly look like it just had a perm. <laughs> you know like how back in the day, people were like upper class in France have like those wigs that have like really, really long hair. I feel like this is like his type of curls. I'm gonna try to shake this out just a little bit. Like I like the bottom of it, but like the top was like up here where my bangs and stuff normally are. I'm just not liking how my hair falls up here. It just looks a little bit chaotic. I mean, it's great that it's so voluptuous, but wow, I don't know. My hair feels really soft though. Um, so that's nice. Uh, and I like that it's like heatless, so it's not as damaging as hot tools. There's a very, very steep learning curve <laughs> with this, I wanna say. Like, it took me probably half an hour to try to figure out how to get these through, and then it wasn't until like the last few pieces that I actually got the hang of it. But I feel like once you do get the hang of how to use these, like it would go by a lot faster. Comfort wise though, it was not comfortable. Like maybe it was the way that I put it, but it like literally was just like rubbing up against my face um, for the entire like two and a half, three hours I left it in. Overall, I don't know if I would use this product again just because um, this isn't normally the type of style I go for, but if um, you like this kind of look and you like these kind of curls, I can definitely see um, these being useful. Otherwise, personally for me, I don't think that I would really use this again. It just took a lot of time and it pulled out a lot of my hair too, trying to get my hair through these tubes. I did have eight extra curlers. So thinking back on it, I could have um, you know used smaller sections, especially for the top of my hair and it probably wouldn't have been as painful. So anyway guys, as mentioned before, these are kind of like 
Curl Former dupes. They're actually not the brand name Curl Formers. I got these on eBay um, for like a fraction of the price as regular Curl Formers. I mean, I think that kind of showed in just the quality of this stick alone because it kept breaking. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of these Curl Former dupes. Uh, should I uh, curl my hair like this again more often or do you like my hair straight better? Thank you so much for watching guys. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click on that subscribe button right there so you can see more videos like this. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!